Yellowstone scientist Dr. Mike Poland set out to debunk the possibility that a super eruption would cause Armageddon by probing the possibility of an explosive eruption. The caldera gets its nickname due to its ability to inflict global devastation during its most violent eruption, something that has happened three times in the past 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. The system is constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS for any changes and there has not been a major eruption in 70,000 years. Despite this, there have been many unsupported claims over the years that the supervolcano is overdue an eruption, something Dr. Poland addressed recently. And now he has returned to explain why super eruptions are not the only activity experts are looking out for. He said, this month I thought we'd try to debunk another misconception, that if Yellowstone were to erupt, it would be Armageddon, that only explosive eruptions are possible. And that's just not true. In fact, the most common form of activity at Yellowstone is a lava flow, and even those aren't that common. They happen only once every few tens of thousands of years. Now, the last big explosive eruption at Yellowstone was 631,000 years ago and resulted in the caldera that you see outlined in red here. Dr. Poland explained how lava flows differentiate. He added, since that time, there have been about 20 or more lava flows that have occurred in the caldera region. Now these lava flows are very thick, pasty rhyolite flows, not like what you'd see in Hawaii. 